hello over there trust you are doing great and welcome to another tutorial section for um from net social blog youtube channel so in this video we are going to be taking a look at rank math seo plugin tutorial for beginners how to create seo optimized posts on wordpress so previously we've talked about how to create and how to optimize your website using rank math seo and uh, with elemental page builders and if you missed that video you can simply watch it by referring to our previous video so in this particular video we're going to be focusing on how to create seo optimized posts on wordpress using the uh, blog editor but before we dive into the practical section we will take a brief look at the tutorial part then we now dive into the practical section so the first thing that we are going to be taking a look at in the tutorial part is by defining what search, you, uh, search engine optimization is. So, in case if you are wondering what search engine optimization is, or perhaps you have a uh, a, a faint idea of what is it, but not a full grasp of what it is all about. So, search engine optimization is simply the process of improving the quality and quantity of a website traffic to a website on a web page from search engine. So, what this simply means is that search engine optimization is the process of improving your website whether through the quantity or quality of the website or it, so that when people search for your website on search engines it's going to bring out your website on search engine and also another definition said that search engine optimization says that it's the process of maximizing the number of visitors to a particular website by ensuring that the site appears high on the list of results returned by search engine so what this means is that let's say you've been with you've been having about 100 visitors coming to your website from search engine so search engine optimization is the process of maximizing that is increasing the number of these visitors from under to an higher number by ensuring that your website appears high on the list of results returned by a search engine so appearing high on the list of results returned by search engine we're going to also talk about that briefly in the next page so now let's take a look at uh, an example of an optimized post so if you are talking about optimized post so let's say uh, there is a new product called permaniacs and i want to know about permaniacs so if i search for permaniacs on google we are search for permaniacs on google so this is uh, the product website which is permanax and if i want to know more about permanax and i begin to search on so this is another article that talks about uh permanax which says permanax best ai writing assistant for students so this is simply an example of a an um, optimized product that is the up the, the website is optimized to show permanax article on uh, on search engine so, so another content that you can also take a look at if you search for a particular topic let's say you talk you talk about wordpress e-commerce plugin so if you search for this you are going to find a lot of results on the website so, so you find some that are actually are uh, sponsored when you see something like sponsored that means the uh the the, the owner of this website are actually paying Google to display these results on uh, on search engine but if you scroll down a bit so any article that you found and is not having sponsored at the end unlike this that you are seeing there so any article that you find there so something like this and this so these are articles that are actually having organic traffic from Google so these are the list of um, these are posts these are websites and posts that are optimized in such a way that when you search for these terms on google so it's going to show the list of this um it's going to show the this results so these are uh, these are basically example of optimized posts so that now takes us to the third part which is meaning of s e r p s so what does s e r p s s e r p s simply means search engine search engine ranking pages so what this does is what it simply means is that it shows the uh if, if you notice when i search for wordpress e-commerce plugin so you have quite a number of results we have one two three four five six seven eight nine about up to nine or ten results different results from different websites on the uh on google so what this simply means is that SRPA means simply means that they the search engine ranking page so for instance if we are to refer to the 
this host, uh, the first hosting so we can say this is number one on the SCL on SCLPS and this is number two by the terms of SCLPS that is this is simply on number one result and this is on number two this is by number two result so SCLPS is simply the uh, the, 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 the hierarchy of ranking and optimized post and if you want to gain the maximum attention of visitors from search engine it is best to always target being firstly on the first page of google and as high as possible so because this is actually the first page of um, google and we have other pages as well when you scroll down you're going to see of course some other items such as one two three up to ten and even above so this is the first page of google if i should not get to number five i'm still going to see other results that talk about e-commerce plugin for wordpress but what you should know is that no one like it's very rare to see someone that will want to navigate from page one to page five when you are searching for something i i am very sure that if you're searching for and looking for something on google you uh, most of us do not have the patience to navigate to other pages talk less of getting to number uh five the page five so it's best to always have your article to rank and appear on the first page so this is typically an example of an optimized post and these are this is the, the typical example of a uh, an optimized post that is on the first uh, page so that is what um SCLPA means so now that we've understood what uh search engine optimization it will also demonstrate an example of an optimized post and we've also, we've also taken a brief look at SCLPS and how optimized posts are being ranked according to numbers and according to pages on google so now let's dive into the uh, practical section of this post so now talking about the practical section of the post we are going to start with preparing your website for search engine optimization so what i mean by preparing your website for search engine optimization is so you need to have a, a website and you need to ensure that your website is on production so what i mean by production is that your website is fully ready and not outdone that is your website is fully ready all the pages are completed you don't have any post or in draft or something or maybe you, you are still um you still have dummy test on your post no you shouldn't do that you should ensure that your post are uh, your website are fully ready in terms of the design in terms of post and everything so when this is done then that means you are now ready to prepare your website for searching your optimization so in this case we are going to be using rank Mart, which is a popular seo plugin that allows you to optimize your website and even your posts and pages and any other custom post types on your wordpress website to uh, be able to gain maximum visitors from google so we're going to be using the rank Mart seo plugin for optimizing our post so the next step that we are going to do is installing rank mount on our website so i'm going to do that by going to by navigating to my wordpress dashboard click on plugins add new so i click on plugins add new then i'm going to search for rank mount so when i search for rank mount so this is the rank mount as a plugin i want to use and i'm going to click on install now So when I click on install now, then it's going to bring something like this that activates. So this, this means the plugin is now installed on my website and I can then activate the plugin on my uh, website. So then after that, it's going to start with the setup wizard. So it is highly recommended that you should also connect a free account because by connecting a free account, you get to get keyword suggestions directly from Google. And you also get access to other tools such as seo analyzer and some other improvement but since this is basically for demonstration purpose and this is a um a staging site so i'm not going to connect my account i'm just going to skip this uh, this particular step for now and click on skip now so when i click on skip now it's going to take me to uh this section so this section you can decide if you want to switch to easy or advanced mode so advanced mode is for people is for a user that it's comfortable and it's uh that want to control every seo aspect of your website but for this uh, particular tutorial i'm just going to leave it as the easy mode then click on start wizard so when i click on start wizard it's going to take me to the next post to the next uh stage of this uh setting up website
okay so now this is the next stage of the website so and the interesting about RockMart is it also allows you to input your data so let's say you already have used installed on your website you can import data from used and without uh without losing any of your data so in this case i'm just going to click skip because i didn't have the air use testing previously installed on this website so i'm going to skip and don't and won't import the web settings so now the next stage is taking me there to the the, the website where it wants to ask me a few things about the website that i'm using for the, the the website in this case which could be your own website so but before i set up this page so let me show you what this website is all about so this is the live link of the website so this website is simply a personal blog where I can, where I can post personal um where i can post my own perspective or overview of what i found in uh, interesting so i call this the minimal blog in this case and when you scroll down blog post is where you can view my posts that i've published of uh, services is where you can explore the range of services that i do offer and about me is where you can of course learn more about me so when you also scroll down you see a short overview that is this um this is the, the about section. It's a welcome friend. I'm there with me, blogger business about them, blogging about minimalism and simplicity. So when I also scroll down, you see blog topics. So I blog about people, I blog about urban and abstract. So like I had mentioned, this is just a, uh, a, 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 a staging website. It's not an actual website. It's basically for demonstration purposes. So let's say this is, the, um, this is my website. So and of course it's simply a personal blog so one Matt is going to ask you on the setup website what kind of website it is so in this case it's a different option here you have personal blog if your website is a personal blog you have community blog so if it's more of a community blog you have personal portfolio small business site workshop other personal site other business websites so depending on what type of your website it is you should select the correct option from there so in this case i'm going to select personal blog and then the next step is asking about website name of course the website name is at living so alternate name is simply an acronym or a shorter name so it's optional and you can also leave it as well so then the next part is person organization name so in this case it's asking me what name that i want to use so i'm just going to leave it as it is now and then we have logo for google so if i add any logo that i want to use i can add it there so let me see if i can find a logo that i can use so i'm just going to use this as a logo then insert it then scroll down and then default social share what default social share does is that when you share your post on google so when you share your post on um search um on social platform be it facebook twitter and the likes so the post by default the featured the the post the images that is inside the post is going to be your featured image that is the image that you use inside the article is what it's going to show as a thumbnail so for instance let me see if i can um show a previously post on a social blog that was recently shared to facebook so let's say this is um this is the Facebook page for Net Social Blog, and then this is um, okay. So this 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 is um, the Facebook page for Social uh, Net Social Blog, and this is uh, an example of an article that we post about Bermaniacs, and then this is a featured image that is this image that you are seeing right there. It's an image that is pulled from inside the post itself. For instance, when you click on the post and you open the post, so it's going to take you to the exact post. And when you navigate down, so you can see this is the image. This is uh, the image inside the post. The, Im the image inside the post is what is showed as the featured image. Here. So that's what the social share simply means. So in this case, the difference between social share image inside the post and default social share image is because in case when you share your post on social platform like Facebook, and then your website is unable to pick a particular image from inside your post so having a default social share simply means that it's going to pick this default image and use it as the featured image instead so it's always recommended that 
you have a default social share image and the uh, dimension of the image is also uh, recommended there as you can see it's saying 1200 by 630 pixels that is the width of your post should be 1200 pixels and the height should be 630 pixels so which is highly recommended so something like um rectangular shape so let me see if i can find an image to use in that case so okay i'm just going to use this as uh as the type of code the default social share image in your own case you can use something else so when you are done with this then click on save and continue and it's going to take you to the next page then we also have connecting google services so this is also uh very this is also highly recommend to improvise your website on google uh, for google uh for google or other um for google search engine optimization so what it's meant by google google services is that by connecting Wankmart and connecting Google services, you'll be able to use tools such as the Google Search Console and the Google Analytics. So what Google Search Console is that it tells you how your website is ranking on Google, how your website, the queries that your website is being ranking for and other, uh, other factors that it's either helping and improving your website or that it's marrying that it's affecting your website search engine optimization and the analytics also tells you how people are assessing your website and how they are making use of it so it is highly recommended that you connect your rank maps and you also connect your google services but since this is a demonstration for demonstration purpose so i'm just going to uh, skip this part and then click on skip step and then fine now i'm done with installing and configuring my rack mat setting so now the next part is activating the appropriate modules which is step two so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to um go back to my dashboard which is my website dashboard so now this is my website dashboard and you can easily navigate to this part so when you are in your dashboard you come to rack mat and then you click on dashboard so the modules are simply um extension by rank mat that allows you to configure and improve your website so if you not if you remember we have the option of selecting either easy mode or advanced mode so in this case i select the easy mode and then you have some other options in the um in, from this section that you can use so we have the amp that simply means accelerated mobile page so if you are using amp on your website you can simply turn on this module or turn it off if you are not using it so in this case since i'm not using amp i'm just going to leave it on off and then we also have the analytics module which enables me to connect my rank maps with google analytics and google search console so that i can be able to see how people are coming from google search engines to my website and how they are navigating through the pages on my website so we also have the content ai which allows you to, to get sophisticated ai suggestion for related keywords we also have other options like instant indexing link counter local seo new site map podcast pool and some other amazing and awesome modules on rank math that you can use so some you also have to note that some are actually pro in this case you have the new site map which is pro which is based uh, which is highly recommended for websites that are uh, maybe entertainment and uh, news related content so once you turn out this module it enables you to optimize your website for search engine so and you also have podcast module and you reach if your website is being used for podcast it is highly recommended that you have this module turned on as well and you also have video sitemap so if your website is all about video so having the video sitemap enables you to have upper advantage on maximizing your website for a uh, search engine optimization in uh, when it comes to video content and getting the rank math seo pro plugin is very easy and very direct so all you have to do is go to uh, rankmath.com so by going to rankmath.com by that you share blog by visiting this link which is our affiliate link slash recommend slash rank mat so when you enter this link it's going to take you to the rank mat website and that is where you can actually be able to download the pro version of the plugin so that you can have access to other the other fit this um other awesome features so when you when you get to the rank mat website so as you can see from here about 1.9 million plus users are using rank mat so you can see the pricing for the pro version by clicking the pricing tab 
So when you click on the present tab, you're going to be able to have access to the pro version. So when you come here, when you scroll down there, so we have different plans depending on how friendly your credit. So we have the agency plan, which is perfect for agencies, and you can use it on 500 client websites. And for business pro, you can use it up, for up to 100 client websites. And for the pro plan, you can use it, of course, on on or limited personal website so in case you are wondering what's the difference between using the rank mat free fashion and the rank mat pro fashion so you can compare the plans for me so the free plan and the pro plan it's uh it, it there are a lot of amazing features that you can use for instance the advanced google analytics for integration you cannot be you, you might not be able to you can't do that on the free fashion we can of course do it on the pro fashion you also have the keyword rank tracker so let's say you are ranking for a particular keyword with the free fashion you might not be able to track the keyword rank but with the pro fashion you can do that so you can easily simply come to rackmart.com slash pricing to browse the difference between the free and the pro fashion which is of course an amazing uh, uh an amazing differences but in case if you do not want to go for the pro right now of course it's fine the rank mat free fashion it's enough for you to uh to optimize your website and rank your website in on search engine so now that's about that on activating the appropriate modules for your uh website so the next part that we're not going to definitely look at is navigating to the post editor and starting by optimizing our post by creating an SEO optimized post on wordpress so i'm going to navigate to the post section so this is the post section of my website and then we are now going to start by writing an seo friendly post so, so if you want to write an seo friendly post first there are some things that you need to do first so the first thing is you need to of course have an article that you want to write about have an article that you want to write about then the next is keywords for the article the images for the article images to use for the article so in this case for the article that i want to uh, write about i have this article that i want to talk about which is how to develop a ld habit in 30 days so the next thing i'm going to do is click on add new that is i want to create a new post for my uh, wordpress dashboard and then i'm going to click on how to create so which is this how to develop a ld habit in 30 days which is the title of my article so i'm going to just place this there how to develop a ld habit in 30 days so that is the title of my um of my post so now this is where we now begin the search begin the search engine optimization for our post so if you want to optimize this post then there are some features that you are going to see on this um wordpress post editor dashboard some of them you might have already been familiar with if you have been using the block editor for a while but there are some new things that you might find there due to because we just installed rank math seo plugin on our website so the the most important thing that you're going to see is this uh two new tabs there you have we have the first tab here which says uh, rank math and it's giving a score of three over 100 and we also have the uh second one here which is the content ai which says zero over 100 so what this rank command model is does is that when you click on it it's going to show you how to optimize your post and whether your post is being optimized and this content ai enables you to use the content ai so we are going to start first with optimizing our post for rank math for search engine optimization so to optimize this particular post i want to do so we are going to click on this rank math model then when you click on this it's going to display a lot of options here so in the general section you have some options here so and this option shows a preview of how your website will appear on search engine if you visit search engine optimization you're going to notice the ratings so the first one is the website name the second one is the website url and the third one is uh the website the post title that is the particular post title and then you also have the date and a snippet of what the a snippet or like something like a summary or an excerpt of the article so this is similar to what you are seeing here here you have the website the website link and you have the website title but there is no snippet here because we have not written an article 
so the first thing that you should always do the first thing that you should always do before anything else is to insert your keyword is to insert what insert your keyword that is the keyword that you want to rank for so in this case since i'm writing an article about how to develop a, a bit so i can just say develop ld so perhaps develop ld a bit develop a ld a bit so i can leave it like this but if you co actually connect your website to rank my tax it was shown earlier so it's going to show you some suggestion about the uh, about some keywords from google but due to because i didn't connect it on uh i didn't connect rank math with my uh with google and i didn't connect my rank math account so that's why it's not showing suggestion which is why i recommend that you connect your rank mark at an account with this and you can do that by simply navigating to your dashboard and uh, and you can do that by simply navigating to your web dashboard click on analytics and then click on connect your rank map so when you connect your rank map account you'll be able to of course have access to showing keywords here so that's all about that so now i have this keyword so immediately i added a keyword there so the first thing that is going to show is this it's going to show the score of my article so this score determines if the uh it's it shows and guides us to that if the website is optimized or or not up to a certain point so now and the reason why i changed this is uh the 44 is because this title is saying it uh th this keyword is saying it here that is it's appearing in the seo title so you're going to see the reason why when i navigate a bit down so you're going to see the basic seo you are using focus keyword in the seo title so let's say i remove the edit from here so you can see it's now back to seven over 100 that is is not seeing the focus keyword in the SEO title. So that you can use this basic SEO, the additional, the title readability, content readability to help guide you in writing an SEO friendly article. So now I'm going to navigate that back and then now I've already written uh the the, the now I have my focus keyword there so you can see then now I want to write the next of the article. So this is the introduction of the post so i'm going to paste this here so then after pasting it then i'm going to copy this as well then i have an image here so this image upload okay media library dynamics image so i'm going to uh download an image so let me download an image and say ld ld lifestyle so let me just search for any random image on ld lifestyle so and i'm going to uh pick a suitable item so let me pick something like let me pick something like this and then use 640 by 480 that is uh i want to use an image that is of rectangular size so now when you are when i when i'm done downloading an image so if you can see it says focus keyword you are using focus keyword in the SEO title so now i have 61 I have from 45 I have 61 around there. The reason why is because I'm using focus keyword in the SEO title, which is something I showed earlier. It also says focus keyword used inside meta description. So meta description is something similar to the snippet you can share. So it's seen develop a LD habit, which is this, which is this. So it's seen in and in the introduction aspect of my website. So that's why it's 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 increasing the score. So the next thing that I want to do is the uh the the image that i want to use so i'm going to upload it and also it's best that the image that you want to use you rename it to something that is uh you rename it to your keyword remember this is the keyword that we are using develop a ld habit so i'm going to rename the image to develop a ld habit foot so then upload this so when i upload this 
so if you check the, the image is now 63 from 61 that is the uh it's seen from the additional part it's seen focus keyword font in image art so the, there are four steps here we have the basic seo we have the additional seo we have the title we have the title readability and we have the content readability all right so um this so now we have um 63 over 100 that is uh the, we've been able to optimize our post to a certain point to, to the extent that the score is now 63 over 100 so like i earlier mentioned if you want to optimize your post so you have to take note of uh four things so we have the basic seo which is right there we have the so now we have uh, the basic SEO, the additional SEO, the title readability, and the um, content readability. So then, uh, this uh, this four settings we enable you to be able to track if your uh, article is well optimized or if it isn't well optimized. So for instance, if you notice in the basic SEO, we've been able to fix some major things, and the last thing that we did was adding an alt attribute. Uh, which is uh, the alt attribute is now an alternative at uh, alternative attribute that allows you to add a title to your image. So in case the image takes time to load or it is the image is broken, so this is what is shown, and this is what makes uh, Google and other search engines to be able to recognize the type of image is it. So previously we've been able to do that by simply renaming our image. But in case you are unable to um, rename your image, so the other thing that you can do is simply click on the image, then navigate to uh, the settings block then go to the post block so when you go to the uh, the block here so you have to tab here the post block and the block so for the block here this is being referred to any block that you click here is going to bring the block settings so when i click on the image it's going to be bring the it, the settings for the block image so in this hot test you are going to type the keyword that we are usually like. remember the keyword that we used earlier was develop a audio team. So you can also use it in your auto attributes. Develop a LD habit foot. So which is uh, simply because since I've already added it as my image title, uh, that is why it's not making changes. So I mean you didn't uh, rename your image to that. So you can also make your you can change your auto test here. Yeah. So that's for the uh, auto test. So now we've been able to use our focus keyword and our SEO type. We also be able to use it in our meta description. So this is what calls the meta description, and this is automatically generated by the introductory paragraph of your post. But in the case of maybe you want to uh, change and you want to use something else, so you can click on edit snippet. So when you click on edit snippet, and you scroll down, you'll be able to change the text that you want to show you. So for in, in this case, this is what I show you. So um, I can also change it by saying want to develop a healthy habit in 30 days this article is your guide to help, to help you achieve your dream so you can always edit the text for me and if you didn't add anything there so that's the idea it's going to automatically pick it from the introductory paragraph of the post so in this case i'm just going to leave it as it is so now we that is for the meta description then we also have the focus keyword so what focus keyword is simply referring to as that you should ensure that your focus keyword that is the keyword that you're using it it should be in your um, url so what is the url so the url is simply a link where right, that's uh, the permanent that people will click on to go to your post. So, in this case, if you want to add the focus keyword in your URL, so just click on the settings, there, click on post. Then, when you click on post, this is the URL. You'll be able to find the URL there. In order to edit this URL, you need to save draft first. So, when you click save draft, then you'll be able to now change it. Then, you click on it, and then you can change it by saying develop a LD habit which is habit which is simply my um 
and if I click this, so when I go back there to check my basic lesson, so you can see that check mark this, that focus keyword in front in the uh, URL. So that's how to do that. And then the next one says focus keyword appears in the first 10% of the content. So the, this, uh, the powerful thing about rank math is that it helps to analyze your, uh, it helps to analyze your content and checks if it's well optimized. So in this case, it's checking your entire content and it's, it's finds out if the first 10% of your content, if it's uh, the focus keyword appears. So here it's added a check mark that the first 10% of your content, it actually contains the focus keyword. So then the next one says focus keyword for in the content. So this is when Rank Math check your post and find out if the focus keyword is actually found in the content. And then we have the final one which says your content is 57 words long. So of course, you need to ensure that your words, your article, it's uh, explanatory and detailed enough. Of course, it doesn't have to be a very long, boring uh, content, but it should be detailed enough so that if a user is coming to understand, maybe or to read about something, they should find enough content that is going to enable them to understand what they want to do. So in this case, that is why it's recommended that at least if you have 600 words. So now I'm going to, uh, remember previously we, we only did the introductory part, so I'm going to copy the rest and say, I'm going to write the, uh, the, the I'm going to copy the rest of the content. So, but before I do that, there are also some uh, settings that we need to find out. So. This is the for the basic because you also have additional SEO. So additional SEO, these are some uh, pinpoints to enable you to discover what uh, what you can do to optimize your article. So here in this case, okay, let me set my image to show at the center actually. So I prefer having my image at the center. So now back to this, it said focus keyword not found in subheadings like H2, H3, and H4. In order to make your article readable, so it's best to actually if you have a long article, it's best to separate them via headings. And we have headings from H1 to H6. By default, H1 is only meant to be used once, which is for your page title or your post title. While H2, H3, H4 can be used in multiple places. So in this case, it's saying focus keyword. It, uh, they, 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 the rank math analysis couldn't find other headings that have a focus keyword. So in this case, it's best to use a focus keyword in heading. So now I'm not going to. So, so let's say in this case, I have one, two, step three, step four, step five, step six. So I can say. So in this case, I'm not going to use an heading, say H2 heading. Adding and call it H2. So and that says six ways to develop a OD habit. So now I'm using a focus keyword which is develop a OD habit, but I'm not just using it plainly like that. I'm using it by adding this. So I'm saying six ways to develop as a group. So then the second one says focus keyword for the image or attribute, which is what we, of course, use there. So then we have the keyword density. So the keyword density is the one that actually determines how many times you've used a particular keyword in your post. So if it discovers that you're using the keyword quite often, so Rank Math Analysis is going to tell you that the keyword density is high, that is, you should reduce the number of times that you are using the keyword so as to avoid your post being labeled as spam. The, and how it's calculated it is that it's calculated by comparing the number or the total uh, characters of your content to the total number of where your keywords uh, appear. So, but since we have a very short article, so I'm just going to um, I'm going to add more content. So step one, choose a habit. So I'm going to give it, so let's say H3 h and then so copy this test so I already have that content with me then I have step 2 set a go of course this is also going to be an h so by now you should understand the difference between H1 to H6 but in case you don't understand what H1 to H6 are so H1 to H6 are simply headings and 
they are arranged based on the order of importance. We have the H1 for post or paid title, which is meant to be only used once. We have the H2 for, void, for major heading, and we have the H3, which is a sub heading under major heading. So just like I have H2 here, then this H3 means it's being referred to as this. It's it's sub heading under this uh, major heading. So and just like that so if i want to also discuss something of that this tuesday a bit so i'm also going to use h4 instead how to as i want to say how to choose a habit so this is not going to be an heading and it's going to be an um, h4 heading that is it's under this so that's how to use heading and sub heading under your article so then i'm going to add this set to go then copy this there then I have um, step 4 which is this so, okay step 3 I mean then this is also going to be H3 if you notice the number of our densities uh, is not, has now reduced that's because and I have quite uh, a number of characters like the number of characters of my entire post is now longer so and uh, step four, take action. Step four, take action. Then step five, be patient. Step five, be patient. So I have step five to be patient, which is also, of course, going to be HD. And then step six, reward yourself step six reward yourself adding h3 and uh, i have the conclusion part which is this conclusion so conclusion developer and then i have the here are some additional and then this okay perfect perfect so now i have my entire article show up so now remember earlier we have the key one density to be very high that's because the total characters of our content it's very minimal whereby the total keywords is high so but now that we have a lot of article we have about um we have a lot of content here on our post so this is the reason why it's not saying that the keyword density is low that is the number of keywords it's compared to the number of total character is very low so and what we have to do that is it tells us the keyword is appearing to time so in order to make sure that we are uh, we are um to make sure that we are uh, having the right keywords with the right density we have to increase the number of the keywords there so like i said First step is, is true that it could be from anything there to exercise. Then you have to also have be very careful on how you to use it so that it's uh, it makes sense. So once you know what you mean, for example, if you want to do the way to to develop a already habit, so now habit, so now I have the keywords appearing three times. So uh, remember our keywords here is this. So these are our keywords. So I'm now trying to, if you want to, instead of using, if you want to lose the weight, so I added to develop the audio of it. So I'm trying to make sure that it's be used in the right space. Be patient. It takes time to develop a new. So let me see how the habit. Okay, because of the name, to develop a heavy, healthy habit, especially. Yes. Especially a new one. So the keyword is now appearing four times, but it's still not okay. You can watch yourself. Hey man, this is the I just make sure it's something like that. Develop an entity habit that can be a way to developing to develop for you for you to develop a all the habit. So now I have my Google Cobalt keyword five times. So that is actually quite okay for uh, for a start. So if you can 
use that but just ensure that you are staying in the between it's not too low and it's not uh, too high as well so then the next one is linking out to external resources so linking out to external resources means that you should link out to external website of course it's possible that you it's, it's possible that you might have all the information in this school and sometimes you might also want to link out to external resources for instance if i search for develop a rd habit and i check websites like maybe wikipedia or i check like reputational websites that have discussed about something like that before so i can so let's say i have this uh which is uh which is so let's say I have this, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, which are, which has a blog post that I've talked about health services. So I can add their link to my post by saying, uh, by adding it here. So saying, creating healthy habits by using health. So I can add it in the middle of my post by saying, for that reading, you might also want to read healthy habits by NIH news. NIH news. So in this case I want to link to an external resources. So external resources is simply a website outside of my own website. So I put the website and then I present that. So now it's saying I have linked out to external resources and then it's also automatically say at least one external link with the follow links so that means you are able to when you're linking to external resources so it's a part of seo optimization website so then the next one said we couldn't find any internal links so when you are also posting it's best to link out to external internal links that is other links on the aspect of your website so let's say for instance I have maybe I want users to visit uh, something like maybe the contact us page of my website. So I can say uh, it could be the contact page, it could be the about page, it could even be maybe other blog article or post. So I can copy the link of the post and let's say uh, say um, this will be your point. So I can say to a big vacation with other people. So in this case, I can just input a link which leads to uh, people, the people category on my website. So when I click this, so I'm linking to another uh, another part of my website. So which is um, which is called an internal link. So an internal link is simply a link that is still on other part of your website. What an external link is leading to another. Uh, to a website that is not of course your own website so then you also have to use the content ai to optimize your website so but because i'm not presently connecting my rank mark account so i can't use the uh, content ai so which is why i recommend that you connect your website to rank mart in order not to miss out some of the amazing features that rank mart do comes with so now we are done with the basic seos we've done with the additional seo as well then moving on to title readability. So we also have something called the title readability. Title readability ch checks for your website title if it is well developed. So we have the focus keyword. Are you using the focus keyword at the beginning of your content? So it check there. You also check if your website has a positive or a negative sentiment so that you can be able to do, you know, when you use a positive or negative sentiment, it also helps for our uh, users to uh, click on your website link and to find out more about the content and we also there is also content called power words so when you use the power words on your website it's it it, it adds a kind of uh, a, a a kind of a uh, it it's um when you use power words in your article title it adds a kind of um, a feeling that makes you want to read more about the article then you also are using a number so using a number for instance when i use 30 days if i should delete the 30 days it's going to cancel this so when i mention 30 days when you use a number in your title it also makes it more awesome then we have the content readability so content readability means you should, you should be using so the first one says you should be using a table of contents the second one says you are using short paragraphs so if you want to use a table of content or, um, on your website so you have to you need to have a table of content 
So let me go to my dashboard and install a table of contents plugin. By clicking on plugins, add new, then search for table of contents. So there are of course a lot of table content plugin in the dashboard that I can use. So in this case I want to use the easy table of contents. So when I click on this and then I activate it. So by activating it then I load times. So it asks me for some basic information, I can enable support where I want it to show and etc. So I'm just going to leave it as default and click on save changes. So now since I've activated, I have installed the table of content, if I should save drafts and I refresh my post, if I should refresh my post, so the table of content is going to, of course, now be quite different because now I've already installed the table of content and update. So when I refresh my post and I check the, uh, and I check this, Additional uh, content. So now I have this. I'm using a table of content on my post. So that so that the second content is five when I hit one word. So now I have the additional URL. Okay. So that's that's how to just make your article optimized so then the final thing that we're going to be taking a look at is the featured image so the featured image is where you add the image that you want to show when you share your article on uh so let's say facebook or twitter or other platforms so in this case if you want to add feature image to your website so you click on the featured image right here and then when you click on feature image you click on set featured image then when you click on set featured image then you are now going to click on the image that you want to set as the featured image. So in this case, let's say I want to use this as a featured image. So then I'm going to click on this and then I can add my alt articles, develop a all the habits. Then click and set featured image. So when you click on featured image, so that means anytime you share an article on uh, Facebook or Twitter or other platform, so this featured image is what is going to appear alongside with it. Then I'm going to add a category, so I call it blog, and I call it um, lifestyle. Lifestyle. Add new category. So now I have this done. So now I, and I have it one over hundred. So that is how to optimize, uh, uh, how to optimize, how to create a post on your website and ensure that you are optimizing the article and using the Rank Math SEO plugin. So with this, we will be able to work to uh, a tutorial on Rank Math SEO plugin tutorial for beginners and creating an SEO optimized post. So if I should publish the article publish this article and view it on my website so then we are going to have this how to develop a audio habit in 30 days so then i'm going to have this article so this is the type of content which enables you to of course the user to navigate to any part of the content easily so then you can be able to navigate this and then this so that is how to have so that is how to create an SEO optimized um, content on your website. If you enjoyed this article, feel free to um, feel free to visit our website at netsocialblog.com. So netsocialblog.com. In case if this is your first time of hearing about netsocialblog.com, netsocialblog.com is an awesome and high quality top quality technology and social media blog where you can read articles on social media how tools and wordpress and we have a lot of articles that you can read to take your wordpress website to a name beginner you can also as well as follow us on twitter with twitter.com slash blog or follow us on facebook like our facebook page facebook.com slash blog or even subscribe to our youtube channel by going to youtube and searching for uh net share blog and don't forget that it is if you want to take your website to a more um to if you want to improvise your website and take it to a more amazing place you should get the next rank mat seo plugin pro version by simply going to net rank mat website by 
to go into our affiliate link, which is nesuciabel.com slash recommend slash rankmark. And when you get there, it's going to take you to the rankmark website and you can browse the pricing section to see the awesome features that we can use with the uh, rankmark SEO Pro fashion. Until next time, bye.